So in the order of my videos, I showed you how we kind of are grouping people together according to what we're ordering. For example, I grew, I ordered by the um, country, and that put all the Argentinians together and all the Mexicans together and all the USA people together. Um, in fact, let me just show you, a, show you a different way. I don't. I, I know I've been using this from C and whatever syntax, and you know sometimes that syntax is handy, but usually I, don't, I just ditch that. That's my own personal um, preference is just ditch that and use the dots and the lambdas. Okay, well let me show you some succinctness so here for each um, customer C C and DB dot customers dot order by C dot country. Um, console right line, C dot country plus pl uh, blank spot plus C dot, and then let's just look at our contact name again, like we did in previous videos. Control F5, build this, run it, look at the data. Here you go. We've kind of grouped the Argentinians together. Here's all the Australians, Belgium, Brazil, so on and so forth. But I can't really do a, uh, an analysis of this data except by just looking at it. I'm, I'm saying, well, say I want to know which customer ha or which country has the most customers in it. Well, it looks like Brazil here is one of our major ones, but then we got to scroll down and, ooh, France is kind of big, so then we have to count them one by one. You know, they're just kind of, all these, these data elements are just sitting next to each other row by row. All right? So ordering kind of groups, but it doesn't really group. I want to put these records in groups. I actually want to group them and say, hey, look, you're all the people from Germany, right? So how many are there in this group? Well, of course, there's a way to do that in Link and also in SQL if you want to go look at the SQL videos. But I'm going to say var result <coughs> gets from cndb.customers. Group C by C dot. We want to group them by their country. Now, notice I've dropped a semicolon out here. When I do a group or I do a select, I have to terminate that ends my query essentially you know if I want to do an order by in here or a where you know or something other I can do those other things right in here that's fine but once I say whoops once I say group or select a group is kind of like a select in fact group I'm saying in a way it's saying select C but instead put put all the C's together by their country all right so let me I think it's more intuitive to actually translate this. Or, and like I said, I usually don't use this syntax. I like to just write it out directly with lambdas. But here we go. Var result to gets, and I'm just going to roll customers dot group by. And then notice the first argument here is a key selector. All right, and the key selector, it's a func, it's a delegate. It's just like the select the translation thing. It's saying, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to give this key selector every customer one by one and I want you to select or pull out what we're, what's going to be key what what's going to be the shared value between them well the shared value that all these customers share amongst each other is their country alright so and the compiler literally just alright we'll copy you know C and then there you go drops it right there okay well look at what group by returns it returns an innumerable I groupings. All right, don't don't let that bend your brain too much. It's just an I. You know what an I enumerable is? It's a list. It's a sequence of data of I groupings. Well, what is an I grouping? Oh, that sounds technical. Let's go. I put I put my cursor on group by there. I hit F12 to jump into this metadata so I can go explore it a little bit. And uh, here's I grouping. I'm going to click on that. And further again, I'm going to hit F12 so I can see what an I grouping is. So F12. And oh, the font changes. That's even better. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Control Shift Comma to do that, and then we see an I grouping is an I enumerable. Oh, easy enough. So when I see I grouping, I can think, ah, I enumerable. Except I grouping adds one little thing, a key. Okay. So an I grouping is an I enumerable with a key. Well, what's the key? In, in this case, what we're doing over here, the key is a string, and those string values represent to us as humans country names. All right, so let me see if I can illustrate here with a for each. For each um, I grouping, I'm going to actually type it out instead of saying var, and the I grouping, oh my gosh, generics, generics. Okay, I got a key and I got an element. Well, the key is a string, right? Country is a string, so I'm going to say string, 
And the element is a customer, right? Because that's what I selected here with my group. I said select C, grouped by country or these strings. So, so it's a customer, all right? And I'm going to say group in result, all right? So remember, result, result is an I enumerable of groups. Okay, it's an I enumerable of groups. That means I can, I'm going to get a group, I'm going to get a lot of groups. I'm going to get groups for Argentinians, a group for Mexicans, a group for USA, a group for all the other countries, all right? So I have a list of groups, and then within each within each one of those groups, I'm going to have have uh, customers, all right? So let's, let's roll with this. I'm I'm going to go through my whole list of groups. I'm going to pull out each group one by one. I'm going to say CW group dot. Oh, and I get all the link extension methods. But really, there's just that property, that key property we looked at. I'm going to say the key, and I'm going to drop a semicolon out there. And then let's say, um, well, since it's a group, it's, a, it's an I enumerable. It's a group of people. I can further for each on that group. It's just a list. Um, customer C in the group. I want to know all the customers that are in that group of Argentinians, Americans, whatever. All right, so customer C in group, uh, CW, and I'm going to put a little spacing in here so it formats a little bit better. C dot contact name. All right, and then down here, let's insert a blank line. All right, control F5, run that. And we see, oh, look at this. This is good. This is good. I like data. Okay, so here's all the people in Germany. Here's all the people in Mexico. All the people in the UK, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's grouping. We're going to uh, um, do some other things, show you, show you what groups are useful and stuff, future videos.